Today's episode of Ryan Eats is filmed in front of a studio audience. Well, hey everybody, nice to see you once again. This is a little bit uh, on location at the Cousins Council Memorial Day retreat uh, annually. So um, this is actually not a uh, pre-produced or purchased item but it was made in-house here, and I have no idea what it is, but there's a little instruction sheet here on top, so let me uh, let me read this, but I kinda wanna, if I move it, it's gonna reveal what it is, so I'm a little conflicted about what I'm supposed to do here, so maybe I'll just read it off camera here. So here, I'll, I'll here's my instructions. Okay, great. Okay, uh, it says, Cousins Council Cooked Confections presents dot, 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 four ingredient bread, and it has it in quotes, bread, plus one secret ingredient. That, but at this point, all of the ingredients are a secret, so I don't really know why there needs to be one secret versus the four that are not a secret, because they're a secret too. Um, at CCCC, which stands for Cousins Council Cooked Confections, again, we believe in simple yet delicious food experimentation. That's, that's great. Um, the four ingredient bread, in quotes once again, might be neither, 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 however you want to say it, neither, neither, potato, potato. No one says potato. Um, please eat with caution, exclamation point. It's yelling at you. Okay. Please eat with caution. Ooh, okay. Ingredients, number one, egg whites. Number two, cottage cheese. Number three, cocoa. Cocoa, like powder or baker's chocolate or, and then the last one is sugar. And then it says in very small, tiny print, I don't have my readers on, secret ingredient equals love. Aww. So the secret ingredient is love. Hey, okay, uh, made with love. And then it says it is low carb, keto friendly, grain free, yeast free, fluffy, <laughs> soft, and fun. P.S. Might not have followed directions. And this could be a major fail. Okay, let's, uh, so that's, that's the entirety of my instruction page. Okay, all right, so I, ha I do have uh, a handy napkin in case I need to, you know, spit something out. Uh, so this is how it was served. On top of a wire smoker basket inside uh, parchment paper. Okay, great. Uh, maybe I'll just leave this here. Okay, uh, it looks like this. Um, okay, I don't know how to show the camera what this looks like, okay. Okay, that's fun. Um, the white stuff on top. Powdered sugar, maybe? Yeah, okay. All right, so that's what we're gonna give a taste. All right, so I'll, as I peel it open, it's like, it's definitely like, it looks like it resembles bread-ish. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. Okay. I have a fork. I don't even know if I need a fork. Let me just try to, I'm gonna try this part of this crust here. It looks like this. Okay. Let's... Okay. I'm gonna try another piece of crust. <laughs> I'm getting that kind of texture. Okay, from those first couple bites of the outside crust, I would not know that it's egg whites, cottage cheese, and coke. Like, I wouldn't have known that. It's fluffy. It's strange. It resembles bread in its texture as you, like, kind of peel it, like, pull it apart. Or almost like, um, like a Dutch baby kind of consistency. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Like you like bake the, you like put eggs in 
cream in a blender and froth it and you kind of bake it in a pan and it kind of puffs up like that, like a souffle kind of, sort of. That's kind of what it tastes like, I guess. Okay, let's, um, let's see if we can get after this. Okay. Okay, yeah, when you do that, it's definitely like a souffle texture. Like this all looks like, like a, yeah, like a chocolate souffle sands the chocolate, even though it says it has cocoa in it. So let's, okay. Yeah. It's trying to trick you into thinking that baked eggs is bread. It's kind of what, and then the cocoa and the sugar on top. Okay. Definitely edible. Um, would I ever choose this? No. Um, uh, I wish you could smell it through the... It definitely has the hints of like egg and cottage cheese when you smell it, but it doesn't taste like that at all. It's just sweet, fluffy eggs. Like, okay. Interesting. I have no idea where this recipe came from or why you would ever be like motivated to make this unless you're on a very strict like carb friendly or keto friendly, low carb grain. Like if you can't eat anything but eggs and dairy, you're good to go. Like this is, it tricks your brain into thinking that maybe this is edible. Um, okay, I'm gonna do this last bite and then I think we're gonna. The crusty with the powdered sugar on top is the best part of this. So a picture of really fluffy, sweet omelet with tricking you into having cocoa in it. Okay. Wow. A little different of uh, an episode. This was, um, I'm not into the home bake side of Ryan Eats, but this, it was okay. So I even look at, okay. So yeah, look at this, right? Do you want to eat that? No, I don't think you do. <laughs> So hey, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us here on remote location in Phoenix, Arizona, with a live studio audience once again. Thank you. And uh, until next time, I hope all's good on your side of the internet. We'll talk to you later. Bye.